Good morning, everybody. Happy Tuesday. Hopefully you're happy. Uh, would help if I could speak English. Happy Tuesday. Hopefully you're having a good day today. I hope you're uh, waking up a little better than I am. It's, uh, it's a little slow today, but uh, yeah, just a couple quick little things. Uh, we're looking for ideas for next Monday's dress up day. So if you've got an idea for me, um, there's been a few put to me. Was, some people are thinking hat day. Um, we've done crazy hair day, but uh, another person asked for that again. And then uh, on the 31st, we're looking at doing Halloween dress up day because uh, we've got the 31st of May. So that will be a Halloween day uh, where you can get dressed up in a costume and go in your classes online. Now, uh, a couple little things uh, that I think are important just to say, many of you will probably have heard this already, but moving forward, it is now official that we will not be returning to school uh, by the end of the year. So uh, we kind of all expected that. So we are in this kind of online mode for sure uh, until summer break. And so we're just kind of finalizing our plans to what the end of the year will look like. And uh, yeah, another exciting note, we are moving ahead with graduation. So we will be having a graduation ceremony, but it's going to be a smaller ceremony and a little bit different. We'll be doing a kind of drive-in celebration for the uh, grads this year. So we're really excited about that, that we get to do something. Because I know most of the big schools in the city have canceled their graduation. So we want to do something special for all those amazing grade 12s just to honor them. So if you know a grade 12, uh, make sure that you just give them some love. Because uh, it's, a, it's a pretty awesome thing to graduate. We want to make sure that we celebrate them. So tentatively, we're looking at that. I believe it's June 5th is the date of it. But uh, yeah, we're, we're really pumped for that. So that's going to be awesome. But outside of that, uh, yeah, we're just kind of moving on. Now, I know for many of you, it's uh, we're hitting that challenging time. I mean, it's getting nicer outside, although, you know, today, <clears throat> but uh, for the most part, it's getting nicer. There's lots to do, and uh, it's hard to to get that, like, fire inside of you to work. And it was funny, I was talking with some teachers today about this, that, you know, even for us, without physically having classes, it's hard. It's harder for us, and it, we have to make that conscious choice. So just a reminder of some of the stuff we talked about, if you were listening way back in in early April, when when trying to kind of keep yourself focused in something, it's important to maintain routine. So as much as possible, go to bed roughly around the same time each night. And if possible, you know, even more importantly, get up around the same time each day. Eat as good as you can. I mean, we've all been probably putting on the quarantine 10 or whatever you want to call it, because it's hard not to eat all day when you're at home. But as best as you can, continue to eat healthy. Make sure you're getting out and getting exercise. It's it's exciting to see that uh, we're at a point where we can start opening stuff back up. So, you know, be cautious, but uh, make sure that you get out and enjoy yourself a bit and, you know, get fresh air. And I hit up a Dairy Queen the other day. Now, that was fabulous. I mean, ooh, I love me some blizzards. But, uh, yeah, I just want to encourage you to continue kind of pushing through. You know, we have not a lot left. I mean, we're looking at four or five weeks of, you know, concentrated school left and then some wrap up stuff. So really kind of stick through, persevere. Uh, if you're struggling, reach out to me. Let me know uh, what we can do to help you reach out to your teachers because really our hearts go out to you. We know this is hard. And I was sitting with my seven-year-old daughter tonight and, and she's in tears. Grade one is, it's one of those things. Grade one at home is not fun. It is not the same. And she was just in tears because she missed her friends. She missed recess. And uh, I think a lot of that, we all are going through that, where we miss school. Now, I know a lot of you are like, oh, I don't miss school. I don't miss class. But there's a part of us that does. We miss, you know, being around our friends, being around, you know, some of the people I saw Malaku today. And just seeing Malaku smile. I mean, he's one of those people that if you know Malaku is... I mean, he's the closest thing to a superhero that we really have on our planet. He is just amazing. And just having those connections with people that we respect and love is so important. So I just want to say, if you're feeling down or if you're struggling at all, that's okay. You're fully right to be struggling. And if you're not, that's fantastic as well. But we're all kind of going through a different process as we work through this. And just let us know if there's anything you need, if there's any way we can assist you. And... uh 
yeah, just make sure that you continue to take care of yourself and as much as you can continue to persevere in school. And, and I have to say, I'm so proud. I talk with a lot of principals from other schools and vice principals, and you are truly a special group of students. And the buy-in and the work that you've been putting in is awesome. So thank you. Here is your encouraging video of the day. I used to be an axolotl. I did what axolotls do. I breathed through gills, my skin was mottled I know you won't believe it's true But then one day I found a bottle Filled with salamander goo I drank a little, then a lotl I necked the whole ungodly brew Now I'm a At first I loved my change of species, embraced my metamorphic fate. I breathed through lungs, I walked the earth, I took a salamandy mate. But nowadays I'm melancholic, I miss my neotenic state. I rue the day I drank that bottle, I can't go back now, it's too All right, hopefully everyone enjoyed that. Have a great day again. And uh, this is really funny in front of me, Mo was trying to steal food, so I better let you guys go. Bye.